Hello on this way off trail of Star Gaming, and today we're back with Jumpstart Adventures 3rd Grade Mystery Mountain. Last time we saved microscopes by, you know, getting slob bot out of there. So now it's time for a new question. So let's see what our options are. Let's take a look at that transquizzer and select another mission. All right, we did the last. You know what? Should we just do backwards order this time? Let's do backwards order without even looking at them. Explosives can be deadly, and they can Click be useful. Dynamite was question. first invented for what purpose? The world's first dynamite factory was so dangerous that authorities moved it to a barge in the middle of a lake. Dynamite, you see, is made from nitroglycerin, a substance that's so explosive, even a slight movement can make it go kablooey. Explosives can be deadly, and they can be useful. Dynamite was first invented for what purpose? Sure, explosives can be useful or deadly, but you forgot something else about explosives, Miss Winkle. Explosives can be fun. Take exploding cigars. They crack me up. I mean, they really crack me up. Dynamite was a great invention for practical jokers. Oh, oh God. We're getting yes, really dangerous now. Exactly right. The exploding cigar changed the face of practical jokes. Also, this is a kid's and game. Why are we talking about cigars? <laughs> Does dynamite change the face of the people who try to smoke it? Oh my god. Holy smoke. Talk about practical Actually, you know what? I'm okay with this one. For people who smoke, you know, they're now you'll stop. Or die. Dynamite? That would be really, really bad for your health. Click on the inventory button to put away. Alright, let's put away the transquizzer. Uh, this is uh, pretty dangerous, but also, hey, you'll stop smoking. Since Robbie Robot, the practical joking robot, is dumb enough to squirt Robbie people Robot, with water, the practical I joking he'd be dumb robot. To do my dirty work. To find Robbie, you'll have to locate these four clues: a moon rock, an axe, an olive, and a medal. An olive. Robbie Robot doesn't smoke. The professor programmed him to carry a water pistol around for the sole purpose of putting out people's cigars and cigarettes. Oh, that's so funny. Well, obviously, we programmed him. We better find those clues. No time to waste. This robot Stand just comes up and... now <laughs> while I sense the place out. Hey, we're in luck. I'm sensing a mission clue in the kitchen. Voila. Oh, okay. Another mission clue is hidden in the painting gallery. Okay. All right, kitchen and painting gallery. Let's go. Let's start with the kitchen. Is it too much to ask for people to leave the doors unlocked I feel like kitchen here? takes a bit. Because well, you gotta get through the door, the then you gotta do his thing. Painting gallery is the fastest. I'm so glad you're here. My blood sugar. Music dropping. takes a little bit. Virtual collection is a, it takes a little. Alright. Eight. Thirteen. You added the numbers correctly, but the result. Is too big to yep, fit throw it up there. Tire. I know. So do the thing. To carry the extra amount to the next I know. Just do it. Okay. Now the extra amount in the tens place. Eleven. That's right. But that number is too big to fit in the hundreds place. So and then the one will just the pop in there. To the next column. That's the thousands place. There we go. Thousand one hundred thirty-eight. You got the first lock. Two more to go. All right. Subtraction, probably. Yep. One minus three. <gasps> you can't do it. So that means we got to... How do you... How do you... Ones there it goes. Have been borrowed from the I was like, there's a... you have to click it somehow. To the ones I just kind of spammed now, up here. You can subtract the numbers in the ones okay. Place. Now 11 minus three. So 10, 9, 8. Let's put an 8 in there. Boom. Seven minus three. Six, five, four. Six minus two. Four. Four, four, eight. All right, you got two locks. Just one more. Oh, multiplication two. Okay. Uh, well, six times two is twelve. Then he's going to do his spiel. But the result is too big to fit on one tile. Yeah, I know. So I'm aware. We need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Okay. Now the extra okay. amount in two the times zero, has been zero. But we have to add place. the one. And here we got twelve again. That's right. 
And then it's going to be a one's going to throw over here. So we have to one, two, one, two. To the next column. That's the thousands place. There we go. Open the door, Mort. We're coming in. We'll get you some food, buddy. Let's see what you want this time. And you know what that means. <coughs> What's on the menu? And Mort's ready to munch. So, what'll it be tonight, Monsieur Mort? Oh, I know. And may I please have the professor's pasta carbonara? Oh, could you please that sounds good. Nice metal gears, uh -huh. some carbon, uh -huh. motor oil, uh -huh. and sardines. Uh -huh. Good thing you have a cast iron uh -huh. stomach, Mort. Yucky. Now click on the on-off switch in front of the feeding machine, and I'll crank this baby into gear. Enjoy! Uh -huh. You know, you started off really good just by wanting carbonara, and then you really done messed it up. Alright, we need a bunch of gears. Just kind of grab them until it seems good. There we go. Uh, carbon is probably next. We need molecules of carbon, so I'll grab the big carbon, uh, the bigger one here. There's some carbon. Carbon, carbon. Cobbin, can I do another one safely? What do I have? 175? No. Let's grab the regular 75. 600, okay. And then one of these guys. Motor oil is next. Uh, we need this for that. Do a couple of those. Can't do another big one. Can I do another teeny guy? Okay, we need 100 more. So we'll take two of the 50s. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then, that must be sardines. Uh, one and one fourth cup is just one of the big bowls. Boom, boom. There we go. There is your disgusting dish. Oh, liver also is popping through? Gross. Yeah, you don't want to taste that one, so I understand why you just, like, corked it down. Ah, sweet nectar. Mm. You did it. Mm -mm. Man, Mort is one robust robot. For providing such a fine feast, here's a little tip. What do you got? Great. You've got. Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then on to complete this mission. I don't know what that is. Stand back now while I. No, we gotta go to the painting gallery. Ah, I remember the good old days with the professor and all his artist friends. Now just us and Polly. So are you ready to paint me a picture or what? See if you can figure this out. The astronauts. They have roads on other planets, but the astronauts can fly wherever they want. Click on an empty frame to start something new. All right, let me see this. We need to give Polly exactly what she asks for. They have roads on other planets, but the astronauts can fly wherever they want. Oh, this. That's the road. But the astronauts can fly wherever they want. So we just need... <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Let's put a few of them. They're just floating around. I'll put one over here. Whee! Uh, just because. Let's throw a... Uh... There's a rocket ship in the background. There's the car going down the road. We'll throw a couple of them in here. There we go. Maybe a couple one more. There we go. Look at that. Um, what is that? Um, yeah, that probably do it. Yeah, the rest of these don't really work. All right, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I like it. Do I have to put something else? Is it going to make me? Uh, there's also a toy saucer right there. Mm, yes. What oh, my God, Nax. We'll go show Polly what she's doing forward. wrong. Beautiful this floor is empty. Let's try sensors on. We'll probably have to I'm do power again soon. This floor. Great. I've got a strong reading in the shrinking machine room. Oh, all right. Just the shrinking machine, huh? Now Dangerous thing. Just let me know if you need any information about my darling specimens. Well, Clueless, 
You might as well know there's a mission clue hidden in one of the specimens. This hint should make it clear where it's hidden. Egbert's dragonfly is constantly trying to eat this specimen. She's right about this that, one? I'm afraid. I have to keep them separated. Is this a mosquito? What is this? I think that's a mosquito. Or mosquito. Mosquitoes are flying insects with long legs. Female mosquitoes eat the blood of mammals. They are so light you can't feel them on your skin until they bite. Dragonflies eat mosquitoes and help keep these pesky creatures under control. That's our winner. And then afterwards, can we kill the mosquito? So, Give it to the dragonfly. The microscope. Bon voyage, Botley. That's French, you know. Oh my! No! no, no. All right. You ready, Botley? Here we go. To start breaking stuff. Oh, I did really good. I missed him. I don't like that they have the corners of it kind of blurred out. You can't really see what's going on there. Oh, oh, almost missed that. Okay, we're kind of breaking, uh, we're breaking up some of them in here. Oh, and it's protected by that robot up there. Oh, I almost missed it. Hey, get up there, get up there. Get in there. You can break more than just like two, you know, get up there and break like seven or eight. Okay, three, that was all right. Ah! Oh. We had that. Ah! Stop doing that! Okay. Ooh, that was good. That was good. Alright, not... Oh, uh, I was like, please don't get stuck. Alright, we've almost killed off everything on this right side accidentally. Just got one random one in there. Okay, we broke that outer perimeter. Nice. We got two more that have to be hit twice. And we got the solo one on the right. Oh, there goes that guy. That one's done. Oh, boy. Oh, that was that was going right there. Oh, come on. It was right there. Right there. Yeah, okay. All right, we got just that purple one up there to hit twice. And then the orange. Okay, one more. Get up there. Oh, that little robot. Oh, he helped me that time. Yeah, he helped me that a lot that time. There's the olive. That's it. It's a really Take ugly looking olive. And put it in your inventory. Then on to complete this mission. All right, olive. Let's move on. There's All right, we made it. Careful now, I'm gonna sense around here. No doubt about it, there's a clue in the observatory. Oh, I just assumed it was gonna be robot maze just because I seem to like the robot maze. All right. Here we go again. Polly's launched another one of the mission clues into space. And we got enough points to do the thing, so that's good. Hopefully we got enough points or uh, power to do this Get whole ready for a fun level. Get thrill ride to the bottomless pit. I have no idea what's in store for us this time, but we have no choice. Click on the telescope. Ooh, we're getting low on power though. I'm hoping we have enough just for this this rescue. Get transmission out of the black hole's clutches, otherwise we won't get Polly's hint. Polly's hints are six radio packets good. Looks like a shower of comets is approaching, so watch out. If they grab, that asteroid is obliterated. Nice shooting. We got a radio packet. Nice shooting. We got a radio Great. You got another radio wave pack. Wait a minute. You got a nice shooting. You got a radio crate. We have all the packets. <laughs> so now silly. we have to decode Polly's message. It's just like getting that first one. Other than that, you're We're good. back at the alien decoder. Just in time to retrieve Polly's message from the black hole. 
All right, here we come. Wait, there's more to be done. Were you, or you were, born between April and April? Oh wait, switch that, please. I see what's happening. We have too many words. Uh, we well, we need we well, need the were you because it's a question. So we're looking for a zodiac. It's not Leo. Okay, am I? I see what's happening. We have too many words. Or, I am we the bull, and I am your choices, sign. Okay, it's Taurus again. Which makes grammatical sense, and then toss the wrong one. In oh, you make quick sense out of that messy sentence. Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix the sentence. Okay, my. Night Sky's last. My horns appear in the night sky. Get rid of appears. Almost there, but it seems Polly left a grammatical booby. What is slash R? Oh, no. Your lucky numbers. It sentences assemble correctly, but there are more words than you need. See the block with two choices? Well, you need to select uh, one of what? them. The one that makes what are, sense what is right. your lucky numbers? Ooh. I was wrong. What are your lucky numbers? Uh. Oh, you make quick sense out of that messy sentence. Okay, now here's the next piece of Polly's clue. Uh, one and nine are Six, your seven, lucky seven, seven, numbers. Oh, you make quick sense out of that messy sentence. Wait, there's more to be done. Try to find my horns in the night sky! Exclamation! Great! You decoded the entire hint. Were you born between April 20th and May 20th? No! I am the bull, and I am your sign. No, you are not. My horns appear in the night sky. In the comments, let me know... What, uh, what, what is your, your zodiac sign? Numbers. I am a Leo. One and nine are your lucky numbers. Try to find my horns in the night sky. Way to go! Alright, we're over here you now. Need to click on any of the constellations, Please put and this, this on. Will tell you a little bit about them. Thank click you. I wish that would just stay on after. Uh, click on the constellations. Think, oh, yeah, he's in the northern hemisphere, isn't he? Uh, Leo, where are you, Tauros? But seriously, though, where are you? There you are. Taurus, you Hear that? You must be right. And here comes a spaceship. Meow. <laughs> ah! We got a medal. We made it. We got all the clues. And I think we have enough power. Power might be the first thing we have to do in the next episode, though. Right, things are going well. We're back at mission control. All right, let's head up here. Applause, applause. Hey, you're doing great. Start the wheel of spinning by clicking the on button. What is this first thing? Monty Monitor here, welcoming you to another exciting edition of Polly Is it like coal? Spares, the only game show that will help you rescue Robbie Robot and save the world. Robbie Robot. Thank you very much. Your first clue is a moon rock. Moon rock, the that's moon right. Moon rock will tell you exactly what the subject of your mission is. Scientists discovered the first moon rocks not on the moon, but in Antarctica. Hmm. That's because pieces of the moon fell to Earth and landed there. Other moon rocks came from American manned trips to the moon and from unmanned Russian missions. What is the name of the NASA space program that collected rocks from the moon? Ooh. Apollo? That's right. Ho ho. The first manned spaceship to reach the moon. I was thinking when they said manned, I was like, wait, Apollo had people on it. The other two I'm not Armstrong. As sure if they went to the moon. The Apollo missions studied the top layer of rock on the moon's surface. What is the top layer of rock on Earth called? Crust? Aha! Yes! Ho -ho. 
The crust is the thin surface layer of the earth. Miners dig into the earth's crust, crust mantle, outer core, inner core, and valuable minerals such as coal and gold. What invention was most essential for helping miners dig deep into the earth's crust? I'm gonna guess dynamite. 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 The invention of dynamite made mining a whole lot easier. It also allowed cities like New York to dig elaborate underground train systems called subways. What a blast! It seems Polly sent her robot back to screw up the invention of dynamite. I hope Robbie Robot is safe. The next clue is an X. The X will tell you when in history Robbie Robot was sent. The X is one of the first tools invented by early man, and it was nothing but a pointy rock. Early man used rock axes to break things up. What tool does a sculptor use to break rocks into art? Uh, early man used rock. I, I was not listening. Used rock axes to break things up. What tool does a sculptor use? Uh, chisel. That's right. Hey, sculptors use chisels to create beautiful shapes from rock. But some sculptures are too big for chisels. One of the biggest sculptures in the world depicts four presidents on the side of a huge oh. marble cliff in South Dakota. What's that sculpture called? Would that be Mount Rushmore? Mount, McKinley. Mount Rushmore. Right. They're hoping like you see mountain just like click. Mount Rushmore was too big for an ordinary chisel. To start sculpting, the artist used dynamite. If you know that dynamite was used in 1927 to begin sculpting Mount Rushmore, which of the following is the only possible date for the invention of dynamite? Well, these two happened after that, so it has to be 1866. That's right. Thank hey, you. Hey. I knew dynamite it. Was I didn't know that year actually. That was just slabs of the only the one that made sense. And you now know that 1866 marked the invention of dynamite. Smashing it. Polly sent Robbie Robot back to the year 1866 when dynamite was invented. Now we just need to figure out who invented dynamite and where. Okay. All right. Well, we got an olive to help us out. The next clue is an olive. It will tell olive you where you. in the world your mission <laughs> will take you. People first began to eat olives 5,000 years ago on Crete. That's a large island off the coast of Greece. On what kind of plant do olives grow? Trees, right? That's yeah. right. I was like, olive trees. Olive trees. I was thinking of the Pokemon Smolive. That surrounds a large He's so sea. cute. This sea is located between the continents of Europe and Africa. Olive trees can be found in Greece, Italy, France, and Egypt. These countries surround which sea? Oh. I believe that is the Mediterranean. Great going. The Mediterranean that's the, Sea. That's not a sea right there. That one's an automatic out answer. Between southern Europe and northern Africa. Where is the Red Sea? Many ancient civilizations rose and Middle, fell is that on Middle the East, shores of this important sea. Not sure about that. Which country does not lie on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea? Does not lie on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. Spain and Greece do. So Sweden, Sweden. Sweden invented the dynamite? Yes. Oh, which Sweden means the big bad was invented Europe. in the that peaceful country of Sweden. For being neutral in times of oh, war. Yeah, he just said that. That means that Sweden doesn't take sides. It's pretty strange that in peaceful Sweden, dynamite yeah, was invented. Yeah, I was just making that joke. Bang, Thank you, Sweden, monitor. You got it. Dynamite was invented in a peaceful country called Sweden. Now we need That's who? Polly sent Robbie Robot. The last clue is a medal. It will help you figure out who invented dynamite. Medals are awards usually made from gold, silver, or bronze. They are awarded to people for acts of bravery or merit. What medal do you win for coming in third place at the Olympic Games? Gold! <laughs> He's getting bronze. Yes! Oh, third or she's like, gold! It's gotta be gold! A very respectable showing for any athlete. Yeah, bronze medal in the Olympics? That's still fantastic. And athletic to get a bronze medal at the Olympics. 
Winning the bronze medal at the Olympics means you are strong and healthy. What kind of medal are you awarded for getting hurt in a war? Oh. You get the purple heart. But interesting, that, that was an interesting turn. Yes, indeed. The purple heart is one of many medals a soldier can earn in times of war. Who invented a medal for making peace, not war? Uh, okay. Is it Alfred Noble? That's right. He invented dynamite? Yes. I did know that. Alfred I actually did know that. What am I thinking? I knew that. His will to fund prizes <sighs> to promote peace and learning. He earned the money for the Because Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize, and then it's like, oh, but funny enough, invented. the guy who invented dynamite is the guy that All it's named right, after. To Sweden we go. All right. We've got to set the time machine for the year 1866 to stop Robbie Robot from buttoning in on Alfred Nobel's invention of dynamite. All right, let's save dynamite here because, uh, well, I guess that we're saving all the smokers, really, is what's going to happen here. That's also interesting because you're like, what's the robot gonna look like? You know, I, it's been. A, I remember how some of them look, but I don't remember how all of them look. Okay, no sudden moves. We're about to visit Alfred Nobel's laboratory in Sweden, where he's experimenting with explosives. This should be a blast. Watch out, Alfred! It's a trick. <laughs> That's Robbie Robot, the practical Joker. Oh God! <laughs> He's gonna kill Alfred Noble. Press recall button, quick. Alfred, I'll save you. Get out of there, Robbie. That wasn't funny, Robbie. Oof. Dynamite was invented for tunneling and mining, not practical jokes. Oh my God! That was murder. Polly just, Polly just tried to commit murder. We've really got to work out, like. We gotta like some sort of jail. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. Alright. Put this robot to rest. Alright, Robbie's gonna go. To I think he's going right here. Guys back where they belong. Oh it's two Yeah! I guess my own innate intelligence has rubbed off on you. Still, this little nightmare's not over yet. Still more robots to find, more challenges to meet. Good luck. You'll need it. Let's take a look at that transfuser <laughs> and select a Oh, I'm happy with myself on that one. Inventory. All right, ladies and gents. We saved, uh, we saved Alfred Noble, got Robbie the robot out of there. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one where we save yet another famous person from Polly. All right. See y'all later. Bye-bye.